It is the start of a new chapter for the old site of the former Regency Inn in Greensboro. The vacant piece of property sitting off Highway 29 on North O'Henry Boulevard. It is an eyesore, everyone agrees. And today, city leaders announce the city has bought the property, bringing an end to a years long saga as to how to move forward with plans to turn it into permanent housing for the city's homeless population. Well, We'll wait and see. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Natalie Wilson. In February, the city ended its partnership with a nonprofit after the promises it made went unfulfilled and city leaders just called it a bad deal. Today's announcement really is a fresh start to what has been a complicated past. Fox 8 reporter Celeste Smith is live from that property and has an update on what's next. Celeste. Well, now that the official transfer for ownership for that property has been successful, the city plans to start work right away with demolition set to start on Monday. It's about time. You know, this is something we've been talking about. We've got to do something with housing. Greensboro city leaders say it's expected to take two to three weeks to tear down the existing structure at the former Regency Inn site. And it took a long time to get here. In November 2021, the city teamed up with the nonprofit Partnership Homes giving them a no interest forgivable loan of $3 million to purchase and redevelop the old site into long-term supportive housing. And in May 2023, the city linked with the group called Step Up on Second, based in California. They made some big promises, but the nonprofit's timeline kept shifting. I'm glad we've got ownership back. It's gonna cost a little bit more, uh, but we've got, a, we've got folks on the street every day that need help and need housing. And so let's get it done. The city has dumped a lot of money into this project, hoping to help the homeless, but it never could seem to get off the ground. I think we're about $3.5 million in on the property for financial. But now on to a new chapter. The city will soon be looking for proposals from developers. They're hoping the official announcement will go out sometime between October 28th and November 1st. And on Monday, brick by brick, the demolition will begin. Matheny is hopeful this long promised housing for the homeless will be here in 18 months. The city obviously is not a developer, so we really need a partner on this. And so they're going to have to come up with their own funds, but we're going to be in it with them because uh, we know this is a difficult project, but one that needs to get done. Councilman Matheny said that there is already interest from developers interested in being a part of the project at this site, including developers who specialize in affordable housing. Live in Greensboro, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News.